Hello, it's MGS, back to give you another part of my Yu-Gi-Oh! World Championship Tournament 2004 playthrough. Today I'll be dueling against Umbra and Loomis, and I will try to defeat them for the tenth time, so that I can unlock a new booster pack, which will be the Purple Millennium Booster. So while I was dueling them off screen, they presented a great challenge each and every duel. It, each duel went down to the wire. So I activate my Pot of Greed. It allows me to draw two more cards from my deck. And next I shall summon my Zombra the Dark in face of attack mode. That ends my turn. One card face down, another monster face down. So I activate my spell card, Stop Defense. It forces your monster from defense to attack mode. And next, I will summon my Cybertech Alligator by tributing my Zombra the Dark. Alright, it's time for my Cybertech Alligator to destroy his monster. Destroy Dark King of the Abyss. But uh, Umbra and Loomis had a trap card, uh, which was Magic Cylinder. I took 2500 points of damage directly to my life points. So they play the spell Monster Reborn to bring back my Zombra the Dark from the graveyard. And now they play another card face down and switch their monsters to defense mode. My move. I activate my spell card Raigeki, destroying every monster on your side of the field. And now I summon Kiku, the Ghost Destroyer, in attack mode. Kiku attack Umbra and Loomis' life points directly. But they activate Mask of Weakness, weakening my monster by 700 attack points. So I get to use Kiku's effect, removing two of their monsters from play, from the graveyard. And now it's time for my Cybertech Alligator to uh, directly attack their life points. Looks like I've taken the lead. Only one face down defense monster, so it looks like they don't have a strong enough monster to take on my Cybertech Alligator. So I set my big shield gardener, and now I equip my cybertech alligator with mage power, increasing his attack by 1000 points, or well, I should say attack and defense. So Kiku, get rid of that defense monster. Your Grand Tiki Elders destroyed. So Cybertech Alligator directly attacks for 3,500 points. So now they're down to 900 life points. One more attack and this duel is over. But, um, spoke too soon. They played Dark Hole destroying all of my monsters, including my strongest monster, Cybertech Alligator. But I just have to draw a monster that can deplete the rest of their life points, but I've drawn Magic Jammer instead. So I will just set my Penguin Soldier and that'll end my turn.
so they play Premature Burial at the cost of 800 of their life points to bring back a monster from the graveyard. But now's a good time to play Magic Jammer. I discard my Karibo so that that negates your Premature Burial. So you paid 800 life points for nothing, now you're down to 100 life points. Oh well, looky here, I just drawn the card they just tried to play. So I activate Premature Burial to bring back a monster from my graveyard and I choose Cybertech Alligator. This duel is over, Lumis and Umbra. Well I could have just decided to attack with my Penguin Soldier but I didn't want to do that. I want to finish them off with my best monster. Well, one of my best cards in, in my deck. So I've won. That unlocks the Purple Millennium Booster. Hopefully I get good pulls. Um, this is interesting. Michi Zuri. You can activate this card when your monster is sent from the field to the graveyard. Destroy one monster on the field. Blind Destruction, I already had that. Monster Recovery, the Quick Play spell. You get to select one of your own monsters on your side of the field, combine it with your deck. Combine your hand and deck together, shuffle your deck, and draw the same number of cards that were in your hand. But I don't think my deck really needs Monster Recovery. Okay, so that concludes this video for today. Thank you for watching. Comment, like, sub. In the next part, I will try to defeat Strings for the 10th time and unlock another booster pack. So I'll see you guys then.